3 a.m. the morning I started to feel pain and got the hi guys welcome back to another video so today we're gonna talk about getting to know a little bit about me or a little bit about us Tori and Kai so my right name is Chevelle Jackson and born and raised in Jamaica went to St. Peter Cleaver primary school and then took my GSAT for all of those who know about GSAT. I took my GSAT and then I went on to Excelsior High School. Then a couple years later, I started working and then study of the technology of technology, UTech, otherwise known as UTech. So yes, did that. Then while I was doing that, I also learned about this program that you could come to Canada, work, and then eventually you could straighten yourself out or get your land in, as they call it, right? So a company called Tim Hortons came to Jamaica. Well, I did... I send my resume into the Ministry of Labor and then they selected me that entire process then I had to go to Montego Bay to do the interview with the employer did the interview got selected came to Canada in 2014 worked <laughs> That was a bit hard, especially working night shift, and that was the first time I had to work nights, so that was hard. Um, yeah, and then so it was a two year contract, almost close to when the two year was about to end. My mother passed away due to some illnesses that she was having. We were very close. My mother and that we were very, very close. We were like sisters. Everybody think we were sisters. And she passed away. Went back home for the funeral. Then came back. When I came back, I... Well, before I went to Jamaica for the funeral, I was in the process of looking about a student visa. Started it out, went to Jamaica for the funeral, came back. And then I got through, went to school for health care aid here in Canada, did that for seven months. Then I got a job with a family working with a special needs child. So did that two years and a half into the job, found that I was pregnant in January work for seven months and then I had to stop working because the pregnancy and the job it was too hard so they wanted me to stop work my doctors were concerned for my health and my son's health for me to stop work stay home be on bed rest so did that and then also I had to have nurses coming into the house like three times a week checking my pressure ensuring that I am good doing urine tests 
um, blood blood tests like they would draw my blood two times three times for the week and then do a non-stress test also to hear Karen's heartbeat to ensure that he was safe and everything that was really nice I had some really supporting nurse then and yeah that was going good for the two months my blood pressure went back normal everything was good and then when it came closer to the time for me to have Karen then my blood pressure starts spiking again and the doctors became concerned so they were like okay we're gonna have to induce you <laughs> I did not want that so went in for the for that to be done and then 3 a.m. the morning I started to feel pain and got the epidural three well not three six thirty I would say after getting the epidural they realized that every time I would have a contraction Karen's heartbeat our heart rate would drop so they would they were watching right because I was hooked up on everything and they could see and they were like if this happens one more time while you're having contractions then we're gonna have to take him I was devastated because I did not want to have a c-section I wanted to have him naturally so was heartbroken yeah that was that that took a toll that takes some time I could talk about it now right but back then I was so upset that I had to go through that but after going through or going to some mom group and some resources that Edmonton and Leduc at the time where I was living had to offer, then I realized I was on the only one and my situation in itself was good. My C-section surgery went well. Everything was normal after that. Blood pressure was down. My son was doing good, so yeah. Then I don't know. <laughs> Things didn't work out between me and the dad, so we separated. I came and I moved back to Edmonton and worked with Dollar Tree for a year. Then I went back to Elk Aid. Didn't like that either. Then now I'm at Amazon. I drive for Amazon. I've been there the 6th of August. So the 6th of August will be 10 months since I've been working there. That in itself is a whole different video. <clears throat> I thought I would come on, get to share a little bit more about myself with you guys. So, yeah. If there's anything else you'd like to know, leave it in the comments below and keep watching you'll see some more interesting stuff from tori and kai trust me on that okay trust anyways see you soon bye until next time